So in today's video, we are going to be doing a do a lesson with me using the Good and the Beautiful Science Safety Unit. Welcome to Plan, Prep, Pray. All right, before we get started, this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Yasmin over at Mommy on the Move. Yasmin has decided to orchestrate all the Good and the Beautiful Science units and have some, well, as many of them as she could find. I think she's missing like just a couple, but majority of the Good and the Beautiful Science units and have each person do a do a lesson with me from one of the science units. So it's a great way to get a look inside of all the Good and the Beautiful Science units and all that they have to offer. So as you can tell, they're up, they're ready to go. This is the first thing that we're doing for our homeschool day this morning, so. And this is a fun unit, so they're gonna enjoy it. There's a lot of fun things that we get to do, so let's go. So have you ever been left home alone? No. No, no, we, not yet. We talked to our mom about sort of leaving home alone when, when you and daddy went outside. Well, of course, we thought we left home alone. What, so we, were, we went for, for a walk? Was that us, was that like you being left home alone, kind of? Yeah. A little bit, right? Yeah. A little bit. I started freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> I just started drinking some sparkling water. <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about um, some safety rules when it comes to being left home alone. Okay. Okay. So we're going to talk about some safety rules when it comes to being left home alone. Okay. So when pilots are learning how to fly a plane. They first spent many hours learning from and participating with an instructor. What does this have to do with me? You'll see. Then, when they are ready, they begin to have solo flights, where they fly the airplane without an instructor with them. Does that sound fun, Shy Shy? No. Does it sound fun to fly an airplane? Yes. Yes, right? We fly in an airplane. We did? Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I have is this science kit. The woman that does this is no longer available, but it's so easy to make and recreate. Um, you just pretty much grab all the supplies that are at the beginning of the, of the science unit and put it in a box or put it in a container and have it there ready to go. It just makes doing science so much easier. So as I mentioned, having everything prepped and ready to go in that box really helps so that science can be quick and efficient. And I'm not necessarily looking everywhere for all the supplies that are needed. So that is definitely one of the best productivity tips that I can recommend when it comes to doing your science lessons is to have everything prepped and ready to go, preferably before you even start the science unit. Productivity tips, hacks, time management, saving tips. That's the things that I talk about on my channel. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. The baby found me, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> wrap up our science lesson. Awesome, baby. Okay, so here's how, there's the cool way. So I don't know if you guys know how to fold airplanes this way, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to fold your sheet of paper in half so that the sides are touching. So long ways in half, so that the sides are touching, right? Like that. All right, so now we are going, yes. So now we're going to read through these cards and as we read through them, we're gonna use them to help us decorate our airplane. Okay. She says bubble every time she gets a puck. All right, so back to science. Go ahead, Sean, and read the first one. We see it, we see it. 
What does it say? Know what to do if you need help. Refer to the emergency card that we brought up in this lesson. So this card right here is we're gonna fill out this card and that way if you need help you can call 911 and when they ask you for your address your mom or dad's phone number everything is on here okay? Wait, what's that poison control that's poison control poison control is where you call when you've eaten something then that you weren't that, supposed to eat then why is that right The next thing we are going to do, we are going to build an airplane shooter. Yeah. All right, so we went outside and tried to launch our launchers and um, yeah, that happened. So we're not, um, we're not the best um, launchers. <laughs> so we're gonna just, um, we're gonna just launch them by hand. But first, let's sit down and talk about um, when to call 911. We're gonna read through these strips and then discuss when it's appropriate to call 911. So you are at your friend's house and your friend dares you to call 911. Should you call 911? No. Why not? Because it's not in the mix. All right, okay, all right, okay. Unless, like, I bet there's gonna be a tricky one. Up. So there is a stranger in your house and your parents do not know. Do you call 911? Yes. Wait. Very good. What? Samaya, all right, practice calling 911. Right. Good job. Sean, let me see you throw yours. Good job, Shai Shai, go get it. Uh, Woo, awesome. several of the good and the beautiful science units and we find that safety to be the most fun and for me personally it's the easiest one to put together um it has not required for me to get all these unusual things so i we are enjoying it um i think it's really good for little ones it's the only one that like my um, three-year-old has really been actively involved in and he's really understanding all of the things that we're discussing and just honestly learning a lot of good safety things that I may even have forgotten as his mom to teach him just because maybe I don't necessarily think the worst of the worst. So we're gonna go ahead and blitz our house and then get ready to finish the rest of our work. Don't forget to check out the playlist. If you'd like to see another Good and the Beautiful Do a Lesson With Me, click up here. And until next time, bye.